Hello wine drinkers and wine lovers. This is Carrie from Woodenville Wine Blog and we have a beautiful sunny hot weekend ahead. Oh my god it's like summer came early. So if you are planning to come out to Woodenville this weekend or wanting to and you haven't made any reservations yet, ooh, got some tips for you. Chateau St. Michel, forget it. Uh, Chateau Will, which serves Lil Family Wines, has some openings on Sunday. I was just on their website. We really need to make reservations right now because the wineries are on, you know, 50% capacity inside and their patios are full and it's going to be 80 degree weather. Ah! Um, I've been to Jane before and they have an easy online ordering or appointment system, but I'm pretty sure they're going to be slammed. Good luck getting into, you know, Mark Ryan, Eisenhower, so all those, it's going to be really busy. So I'm trying to think of some ideas and alternatives. You probably could get into Novelty Holjanic, but definitely check everybody's website. But make a plan. Don't just come out and try to come to the Hollywood District and start tasting. It's going to be crowded because it's going to be super fun. If you can get away today, Friday, and play a little hooky, I would do that for sure. It won't be too crazy yet. Beautiful weather. Mary Hill often has a... They have a huge tasting room. They might have some availability for you indoors and out. So check with their website, call and try and book an appointment, etc. If I were you and I wanted to come to Woodenville and I didn't have any reservations and hadn't planned ahead, I would probably head to Artisan Hill and the Warehouse District because they're kind of off the beaten path. There's fewer people going out. It's still going to be a fun, busy weekend. But that way you can stroll around and find tasting rooms that are open and have room for you. And in Artisan Hill especially, you're more likely to actually get to chat with the actual winemaker that makes your wines. And in the warehouse district, a bit, not quite to that extent. Uh, I would just wander around and see what you what's going on. And think of some places to eat that are off the beaten track, like Purple Cafe in the Commons and Village and Heritage are going to be busy and they're awesome. What about over by... Walter and Market Vineyards, there's an awesome restaurant that not everyone talks about, and they're not very active on social media, and I wish, I wish they were, the Beast Road Hollywood Schoolhouse. Beautiful outdoor patio, amazing french fries, I can always find something vegetarian. Another idea I have is why don't you head out to Wooden Creek, which is in Woodenville, kind of around the back of, if you pass 21 acres on the left to get there, look up Wooden Creek. Rocky Pond is there. Truth Teller is there. There's a new wooden kitchen, uh, wooden creek kitchen and tap, I think. I haven't checked it out yet. Lifted Taco is there. And Alexandra de Nicole Sellers is opening soon. I don't think they're open yet. So check out Wooden Creek could be an option. Mary Hill Winery has food in the Hollywood Schoolhouse. If you go out to Artisan Hill, there's the Picnic Table Cafe that you can grab food. And Medier Brewing usually has a food truck, and uh, Two Vintners Covington usually has a, a barbecue truck. If you head to the junction, there's Shake and Go, I think that's what it's called, at the junction. And there's always a food truck at Locust Cider, especially on Saturdays. And if you go into the Warehouse District, you'll find a couple food trucks, and you can eat food at Address Wines in the middle of the Warehouse District. So you have some options, because we don't want to just run around drinking, we got to eat too. So my tips are jump onto some websites and try to make reservations if you can. Uh, Matthews is going to be probably crazy. I love Matthews. I wouldn't try to get near there on Saturday. <laughs> it's going to be awesome. I don't want you to forget about the Rooster Bakery and Cafe, which is a little bit north of Matthews on 202. They have a beautiful outdoor patio. It is a winery, but you might want to take a break in the middle of the day and have some iced coffee and iced tea and kind of relax on their patio because it won't be crowded and there's tons of parking so don't forget about them and have a wonderful safe day tasting this weekend i'm going to go out all three days friday saturday and sunday don't forget to wear sunscreen because our little seattle skin isn't used to this much sunlight it's awesome if you have any questions about the woodenville wine scene drop them in the comments and i'll try to answer them when i get back from wine tasting thanks for watching and you can see more of our wine videos Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Pinterest. Bye.